How are you doing guys and welcome back to the Bonville Cocktail Collection. Now the nights are drawing in and there's a nip in the air so that must mean that winter is here. It must also mean that 2020 is nearly f***ing over. Now I don't know what's going on in your part of the world but here in the UK we've just gone back into lockdown and by the time we come out it's unlikely we're going to be able to meet friends for drinks in the comfort of a pub or bar. But there's a good chance we'll still be able to meet up in the open air. So to keep you nice and toasty this winter here are five delicious winter warmers. All right, guys, first up is a drink called Hot Grog. Now, we've never really discussed grog on this channel before, and we really should do a video dedicated to it and drinking in the Navy in general. But for the purposes of this video, all you need to know is that grog is a mixture of rum and water and is named after Vice Admiral Edward Vernon, whose nickname was Old Grog. Right, what I've got here is a pan of about 100 mils of boiling water, and I'm going to add the ingredients to this. I'm going to start with orange blossom honey, three bar spoons. And next up, the juice of half a lime. I'm just gonna turn the heat up on that, bring it back to a simmer. All right, so I've taken that off the heat and then we're gonna serve this in a toddy glass, but I've gotta add the most important ingredients, which is our rum. Uh, you can use any dark rum, Navy strength rum. I wouldn't go with a white rum. Uh, we're using Mount Gay. And then we're just gonna carefully pour the rest of the ingredients over. And you obviously do want to use a glass that is suitable for hot drinks, not just any old glass. And we're going to finish that with a lemon zest. And that is hot grog. All right guys, we couldn't do a winter warmers video without talking about mulled wine. And you've seen us make a couple of variations before. So we're gonna try something a bit different with a variation on the German Glühwein. We're gonna do this one with white wine. So if you don't like red wine and you want something a bit lighter for your winter warmer, this is gonna be right up your street. So let's start with our wine. I'm gonna go with 100 mils of, you want medium to medium dry like a Gewürztraminer or something like that, any German medium white, white wine will do. And then this is 25 mils of lemon juice, and we want another 25 mils of fresh pressed apple juice. All right, we're just gonna bring that to the simmer. And whilst we're waiting for that, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is one of the biggest online learning platforms, and since working with them, I myself have learned absolutely loads. At the moment, I'm following a course called Podcasting Secrets, How to Start Your Own Podcast by Nikayla Matthews Okome. Now, this course has been invaluable to me as we've been recording podcasts over on our sister channel, The Distilled Truth. And podcast is a new style of content for us, so I've been able to learn some great fundamental skills from this course. In fact, I'm using some of those techniques now to record this voiceover. I think you'll agree now is a perfect time for us to be learning new skills from home. So the first thousand people to use the link down in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So give Skillshare a try, you will not be disappointed. Right, our wine has simmered. You don't want to overboil it and cook off all the booze. You just give it a light simmer, bring it to temperature, take it off the heat. We've got our toddy glass and we're going to finish off with a shot of Don Benedictine, 25 mils. Now this is going to give it a bit of an extra kick and add a bit of sweetness to balance that lemon juice. Now you can use any sort of herbaceous liqueur like Jambu or something like that. We're using Dom. And we're going to pop a lemon slice studded with clove and then we're just going to pour our hot wine and juice. And that is mulled white wine. All right, when you think of winter warmers, tequila probably isn't the first spirit that springs to mind, but you're gonna love this Mexican twist on an Irish coffee, the hot Mexicano. Now this is a built drink, so we're gonna start with our toddy glass and our tequila. We're gonna go 35 mils. We've got Tapatia Añejo. And that's gonna add a real lovely spiciness to the coffee. And a bit of sweetness, we'll go with 15 mils of orange curacao. And we 
going to top with our hot coffee. Let's leave a bit of room at the top for the final ingredient, which is a float of cream. Now you don't want your cream to be fresh out of the fridge. You want to give it a, a chance to warm up to room temperature. Give it a bit of a whisk so it floats. And we'll finish that off with a couple of coffee beans. And that is a hot Mexicano. All right guys, next up we are gonna do a little twist on the classic hot toddy, and this is called hot scotch tea. And as you can probably guess from the title, it's just got tea in it instead of boiling water. But actually you'll find that tea and the scotch pair really, really well together. And it's a bit more interesting, a bit more complex than a, than a classic hot toddy. So we're gonna start with our English breakfast tea. Careful that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go about a cup's worth into our saucepan. Next up is whole cloves. There's about five in there. We're just gonna put that in loose. We need a spoon of orange blossom honey. Give that a minute to simmer. All right, that's coming to a simmer. We're just gonna grate a little bit of nutmeg in there. All right, so we're gonna serve this in a little tankard like this. We just need to add our scotch. It's gonna go with 60 mils. We just need to add our tea and spices. You're gonna wanna fine strain this to get catch the cloves. and a cinnamon stick. And then we'll just finish off with another dusting of nutmeg. And that is hot scotch tea. All right guys, last but not least, I've got another drink for you that you definitely would not associate with winter warmers, but I bet there's a bottle of it that's been gathering dust since last summer in the back of your drinks cabinet, and that is Pims, and this is a hot Pims cup. Very, very simple drink. We're going to start with 100 mils of freshly pressed apple juice and 100 mils of freshly squeezed orange juice and 50 mils of our Pims. Quick stir and then let that come to the simmer. All right, that's come to a light simmer. You've got to catch this one quick because it will boil over very quickly if you uh, if you don't take it off the heat soon enough and then we'll just pour that straight into our toddy glass i should have also said actually that <laughs> this is a nice low abv drink if you did want it a bit pokier you could have stuck a shot of gin in there as well and we're just going to finish that with a string of red currants and there you have the hot pims cup All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you got on with those drinks down in the comments. And please do take care handling hot liquids. Don't forget to keep an eye out for those podcasts coming out over on The Distilled Truth. And we'll see you back here very soon for our Christmas edition. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you soon. Just whack them all in. All right, when you think of winter warmers, tequila probably isn't the first spirit that springs to mind. But you're going to love this if you don't like red wine and want something a bit lighter for your winter warmer I don't know where I'm going with this named after <laughs> Admiral Edward Vernon I'm all so we're just going to bring that back to the sim that's distracting me <laughs> set on fire and whilst we're waiting for that this is a perfect opportunity <laughs> of Drambuie. Now this is going to add, uh, it doesn't have to, what did I say? I said Drambuie, didn't I? Yeah. So give skill, so give skills to, oh fuck. So give, no. It's hot mold wine. What is it? I'm really hot and bothered now.